All right, so this video is for you guys that love those two strokes. <laughs> This one I got kind of half taken apart already. I started doing some stuff, but uh, I picked this thing up and uh, head gasket was blown. Um, guy didn't tell me that uh, the tranny was cracked, so I'm going to be taking that out. And uh, also, I go take this thing for a ride. And I noticed the, this arm right here is cracked. There's a crack way up there. I don't know if you can see that. So I got my spare parts here ready. This was cracked. It is right about here. So I'm going to be ripping that arm out. Stripping this thing down. I'm going to tear this down. Take the head off. Show you guys how to do that. And uh Take the transmission apart, rip it apart, and I'll show you guys how to do that. And uh, yeah, we're we're going to town on this thing. This thing's getting stripped way down. So uh, have a seat, sit back, and enjoy the show. First thing I like to do whenever I'm checking out a motor is pull a spark plug. Cause the spark plug, that's gonna tell you everything. It tells you how it burns, tells you if there's any fuel in there. We're gonna take a look at this. I got a funny feeling it's probably coolant in there. Uh, we can see that. It's wet. Um, oil in there you can smell it uh, smell if there's any fuel uh, just looks you know, a little like oil also shine the leg down the cylinder Wet. That's good. It's a good sign that there's no coolant in there. I guess my next step is we're going to start uh, disassembling this. 
and uh, we'll take the chain off, take the brake off, because that's uh, the whole assembly goes right in the training. And uh, I guess we'll just go from there. I think this is a half inch. chain off, sprockets should just come right out, and uh, this thing is just soaked with uh, transmission fluid, you got a crack down there by the chain, so the guy I bought it from kind of lied to me about that part, so this brake should come off with uh, a half inch. At the bottom, there's a little cotter pin that holds this bar in place. All right, so I got the cotter pin on it, and then there's a little clip right here, and then the whole assembly should just slide right off. This little C clip is right on there. Now, with everything disassembled, just pull this out. There we go. Pull that off. That's where that bracket with the cotter pin was. So now, um, probably take the inner chain off. And take these off and uh, kind of go from there. I took the top nut off already and uh, it's got a uh, little backer on there that'll hold it in place. And I'll put my hand on here. Take that out. Uh, there's a sleeve in there too, like a, a shim. There, I see there's some shims in here. That's gonna give you your nice big opening to pull the transmission out. I'm gonna try to get this out. Now just make sure you keep uh, keep in mind the orientation of everything. So when you put it back together, it should go back together good. Right, so 19 16th inch wrench on the back side. So now with that ring out of the way, now we can uh, go ahead and get these off. I'll take that sprocket. Ooh, that's on there good. Take that sprocket off. That's where you get your BFH from. I guess we're going to be uh, taking the centrifugal clutch apart. So I got my carburetor to assemble. 
So we'll end up uh, taking this off, take the belt off, the clutch is off, and then uh, there's a cover back there. Wow, I can honestly say I've never seen uh, clutches that clean before. So this is a 5 8 inch nut, 9 sixteenths on the back here. for that one. That just comes out. Wow, that bolt's even clean. This thing's never seen water. That is a good sign. Slides right out. Wow. Out of all the machines I've seen, I've never seen one this clean before. That's awesome. Something for that. Ha! Wow. Looks like a brand new bolt. That's just amazing. Alright, hold tight while I get my little clutch tool. Alright, so I made this myself with a three quarter inch threaded rod. The knot at the end. And it's just going to thread right in there. Until it bottoms out and it's gonna it's gonna push that uh, clutch right off all right so you got our thread all the way in right out of here hold it in place Alright, so I got it to pop. It came right out. And uh, now I'll go ahead and take all these bolts off, and this cover should come right out. Now, depending on what year you have, there might be little spacers behind here. Yeah, mine do. Little plastic spacers. Also, you're gonna have two little washers. This one's got three. It's got your spacers for your uh, clutch. screws so you got to bend them tabs over and then uh, take the screws out Alright, so with everything out of the way, take that bolt out, that bolt out, a couple on the other side, and on the inside there's two bolts, and that tranny should just pop right out. Alright, so we're on the underside of the tranny here. Polaris has done this wonderful thing of sticking this stupid bolt in here. It's supposed to support the tranny. Be like a Five eighths inch nut, and you go ahead and loosen that, and you can tighten that in. And then don't forget to take your speedo cable off. And then right up here, there is a nut and a bolt that goes all the way across there. So I'll take that off, loosen that up. Get your bolts on the side, and uh, this thing should be ready to pull. Okay, so once you got all that stuff underneath uh, disassembled, take that bolt off, bend these little flaps over by that nut. That is a three-quarter inch nut. You got a wrench on the other side. 
We're gonna go ahead and get that mixed in. Let's see here. I'm not gonna be able to do this for you guys can see it, but you don't want to go too far out. Now, you can pull out all the way out, but that's going to take your arm off. So I got the wrench inside of there. And I uh, can't really see it, but uh, there's a nut down there. Right in between the transmission here. So this side's loose. And I just got to do the other side, which is a pain because that plastic track's in the way. Once you get those two out and those nuts, this transmission should pull. Alright, so I was able to get that plastic piece out of the way, that chain. You kind of see here that this bolt right here goes all the way into the transmission right here. You just want to keep backing that nut off. The bolt at the same time that pulls away from the transmission and then uh, with this bolt off everything should come out all right so i got this one bolt to pull these are all loose that's the motor transmission to spill now we are loose and it's just a matter of getting everything out this is the fun part I got this plastic thing here holding that in place too. over here it had to come all the way out in order to get that out so you gotta crack right up in here so I'm gonna split this case in half build myself a nice strain it's pretty nice I was able to get that out without uh, removing the engine pretty pleased about that uh, normally I had to tilt the engine forward to do this so the right, next thing I'll do is I'm going to move that jug, uh, just kind of do a test, make sure I'm not leaking any coolant, rebuild the uh, transmission, and now I'm going to pull that rear axle off so I can get that uh, broken arm off. Alright, now onto the back swing arm. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take these bolts off, pull that out, I'm going to take the tires off. I'm going to have to pull the hub off of that side and slide this out and then uh, unbolt the shock and finish unbolting the rest of the swing arm and pull it out and replace it. So. Take the shock off. I think I'm going to take the whole swing off, arm off first and then get the axle out afterwards. It might be easier. All right, so as you can see, I got this thing pretty much got it down to the bare bones. Transmission's out. Rear swing arm's out. And you can't see it here, it's all dirty, but there's a crack there. I'll put my, uh, my new swing arm in. And then I'll 
gonna pop that axle out that way. I figured it'd be easier than having it up in the air like that, having the ATV fall down on me. So yeah, she's coming along, slowly but surely. Um, so, we got my transmission laying right here. We're gonna tear that apart and uh, show you how to do that. We're gonna throw that back in with the new swing arm. And then, uh, once I'm done with that, we will check the head gasket, see how that's doing. Um, like I said, I got uh, coolant leaking from somewhere. I haven't figured out where, so well, we'll just figure it out together. All right, guys, so let me show you what I found. <laughs> a nice big hole right here in the tranny. Um, oh, this thing's might be messed up. Oh, that's still going good. Looks like everything is functioning, but uh, I do got my spare tranny over here, so I started taking the bolts off. Actually, I actually have a YouTube video on how to do this, but I uh, just thought I'd show you. I already started pulling my bolts off, and uh, see if I can't maybe pop this apart and show you what I got. Alright, so this transmission is actually in really great shape. You got Part of it taken apart already all the gears everything's perfect i already took the dog gear out for the uh um low transmission speed now i'm just gonna pull this out pop that handle both them gears will slide out i'll be able to take everything off all right i'm back i got this uh transmission rebuilt um no crack in the pan anymore Cleaned her up real nice. Now she's ready to install. Um, I also uh, took that off and there was a little tiny piece of cable in there. And that goes for the speedometer. A lot of times those like to break. So I replaced that so my speedometer is going to work now. And uh, as you can see here, I've got my swing arm back in place. Got them bolts in there. Make sure when you do that, your chain is in there. And... Uh, so if you didn't catch that uh, earlier, these were the uh, the nut and bolt that I had to loosen because those, when you tighten them, they go straight into the transmission. So that helped hold the transmission in place. And then there was where that bolt went across, the long bolt. So that's it. It's coming along pretty good. Now... It's time to install the tranny. Alright, so the trick to this is going to be getting the chain in there all at the same time. Just make this kind of a chore. Take that bolt out. chain on right away. That's why I take the sprocket off because then you got room to play with the chain. Actually I take that back we're not gonna be able to put the chain on yet because you need it out of the way to tighten them nuts. Um, here. Not so, so bad. I'm gonna start this one. that on the other side tighten those nuts and then uh, you got the nut and the bolt I'll get that all tight and that'll go right into the case reinstall the chain put this cover back on and I have my tranny in not too bad all right so I got the sprocket back on I got the chain back on everything's all good to go um, now I need to tighten the chain so for those of you that uh, are unsure how to tighten the, the chain what you do is you loosen these there's two nuts on the bottom you got the two bolts here and you turn this until this chain's tight and uh, you don't want it really tight 
you want at least like two fingers of play because if it's too tight you'll you'll end up breaking something so with these loose you usually turn this until the chain tightens and that's like being stubborn tightening up and they say it's actually better to do this with uh, the wheeler on the ground because um, this is going to push up or put, put it so now I got it on the here. ground and uh, the reason you want it on the ground is because now if you're sitting on it, it moves up and down that's going to put tension on your chain that's why you want about two fingers of play so this might be a little too tight I might loosen it a little bit and then uh, push some bolts back in and put the nuts back on tighten it up and you're good to go so there you have it one transmission installed, one rear swing arm installed. So I slid uh, this disc into the brake and then I put it on the shaft and then I uh, bolted this up and I put the chain on. Nice clean tranny. Chain, you want what, two fingers of play. It's right where you want it. It'll tighten up, she's all good to go. So now, like I said earlier, I've got a, uh, a coolant leak. I think the coolant's uh, leaking into the, the jug. So what I'm going to do, I already got the carb off, is I'm just going to pull the jug off from the bottom, the base. I'm going to pull them four nuts off, slide the whole thing out, and I'm going to test it with the head on to see if the head is what's actually leaking. Uh, that I want to find out. And I'll be able to get a glimpse of the piston right away. So that'll be next.